What's up guys, it's your boy Goblins, and today we're going to talk about the weapon buff a little bit, or the weapon nerf, either or. So we talked about it a couple videos ago, and I literally, I literally spent 20 fucking minutes talking about every weapon detail there is to know about patch 2.0. Because we needed to hear about that, you did. I, I know it's a long video, trust me, I recorded, I, I know, because I sat there and I recorded 30 minutes of me talking about new weapons and all the weapon changes that are coming, so like, I, I'm well aware that it was a long video, and I do apologize. For all you guys that actually watched the video, the full 20 minutes, thank you so much. You guys are fucking awesome. In the meantime, I really can't hate because it's a long-ass video, and knowing me even, I'd probably click away at that point as well. So, I don't blame you, but I will say you will enjoy the video if you if you enjoy the information that's coming from Patch 2.0. And I will say as well, ironically, Datto did a very similar video to what I did. Even to the same daily that I did doing the video and and talked about the exact same stuff that I talked about. And the video he did is pretty much the, the exact same length as I did. It's ironic. I found it super ironic, actually. And I'm not saying anything. Trust me. Like, I know I'm a sarcastic dude, but I'm not fucking saying anything. I thought I actually just thought it was ironic. So, yeah, anyways, let's talk about the weapons. Let's talk about, a little bit about Patch 2.0, what the Titan King is going to bring. Um... First off, I want to talk about the Galahorn. Now, I, I, I find this kind of frustrating in the fact that they are actually nerfing the Galahorn. Um, this was this was really the holy grail of every rocket launcher that existed today. And everyone lost their mind. As as one of our loyal subscribers said, it, everyone flipped a tit. And you're right, everyone fuck, everyone flipped a tit, that's for sure. Everyone lost their goddamn mind about that one. I hate the fact that the Galahorn is being nerfed, I really do. I like the fact that the Galahorn was the Holy Grail. Like, it was it was always that answer. It was the cheat code to everything whenever you struggled, essentially. And that was fucking cool. That was so cool. Now, unfortunately, we're taking a step back from that and kind of just, you know... It's not the answer to everything. It's not the cheat code, unfortunately. But it, it still is going to be good. And we don't really know exactly what the Wolf Pack nerf is going to incline, so we can't be making too many assumptions. All we know is that we know that it's going to get nerfed at some point, and it is what it is, unfortunately. Now, that's one side to it. That's the side of me that says, like, fuck, man. Why do people have to whine about stupid shit like not having a Galahorn? Everyone should have a Galahorn. If you get a Galahorn, it's awesome. It's probably well-earned if you got a Galahorn. If it's not, whatever. Awesome. You got a Galahorn. Sweet. That is that is the godsend right there. That is the, the Lord of the Rings ring. That was, like, the feeling of, like, biting into, like, the perfect food. That's what that is. That's, like, the cherry on top, you know? You know what I mean? Like, that is what it is. And I almost feel like to an extent that it has been nerfed, unfortunately, because there is people out there that don't have it and they will bitch and complain about it endlessly until they do get it. But when they do get it, it's totally fine. It's cool. Like, not a big deal, right? Yeah, now you don't have to complain because you have one already, so, like, you could probably be quiet. Now, the flip side to that is, yeah, unfortunately, we have a gun that has felt like the answer to everything. This weapon is sought after by everyone, and it's because it is so goddamn good. It is the gun that you use for everything you struggle with. Everything. Everything. So where does that leave other rocket launchers and machine guns? It's true. Yeah, unfortunately, we we don't really have a spot for them. We just want to keep using the Galahorn, you know? That's what I'm talking about right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the Galahorn is the godsend of a weapon. So, in a sense, it does make sense, the fact that we have to, unfortunately, nerf it. Now, I'm honestly, I'm on the line about it. Because I can see where this patch will be make sense in the long run. But at the same time, too, it just fucking sucks. It just sucks. Taking my, taking like the best, the the most rare gun and just, just disgracing it. Just an absolute disgrace to the fight of Twilight Gap in every sense. And what the fuck? Guardians died and were rebuilt into this godly weapon. It makes sense for what it is. Come on, man. You know? But at the same time, too, it makes sense. It sucks. It's brutal. Honestly, this has been my stance since I first heard about the weapon patch, and you can even hear me say it when, when we're talking about it for the whole 20 minutes that I did talk about it. It's just like, I'm so on the line about this, because I see the effects of these things, and I see where it's good, and I see where it's bad. So, it makes sense, but at the same time, too, it does suck, I'm not gonna lie. Now, the other big one was the Thorn. The Thorn is getting nerfed as well. But not only is, like, the Thorn and Galahorn getting nerfed, everything is getting nerfed. I feel like a couple questions could have been answered just by simply nerfing a couple things. I almost wish that Bungie would just approach it in a very different way, in the sense that why why can't they do these weapon updates, you know, once or twice a week where it's active, it's like we see these things happening in Crucible or in PvE, where our guns are constantly changing, to a degree that makes sense until we get to that sweet spot of everything is equal and balanced. This big balance patch, you know, it'll actually probably balance things in the long run, but at the same time too, it fucking sucks to have it out of nowhere, and once again, you're breaking all the good guns. 
And I say that in the sense that like Bungie's taking exotic weapons and making them almost too much like legendaries. I literally can find an alternative to every exotic weapon in a legendary nowadays, which is kind of, you know, I, I get that it opens up, up slots for me, but that sucks. That really does suck. So it's like, it doesn't feel like exotics are as exotic anymore. Even if they are getting buffed, it's like, or nerfed either or, they just, they don't feel like they're going to give that much of a kick. It's no different from like exotic armor and stuff like that. Like exotics, I feel like are meant to be exotics. It's like in, let's say World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft, you get like, like top notch gear, like absolute legendary gear. And it's like, that is what it is. You know, like, ah, oh, shit, that's, that's awesome. And now it's like, you know, Imagine if that was all diluted into something that could be easily replaced by a lesser rarity of an item. It's, you know, it kind of, it kind of is like a dick punch in a sense, really. And that's where I'm kind of conflicting the sense. Like, we're nerfing exotics and we're making everything balanced. But in doing so, we're actually ruining the idea that an exotic is an exotic weapon. I understand that the perks and everything are still there, but it's, once again, why couldn't we stay more active with these, with these, uh, these weapon changes? Why can't we talk about it every second week or every week? And, you know... Why is there not a PvP and PvE balance? When we looked at graphs from what Bungie showed us, it was just straight up PvE and PvP and the usage of each weapon all across the board, you know? It wasn't PvE or PvP was specific. We should, for example, be looking at Thorn and being like, okay, this thing fucking is brutal in PvP. It's brutal and awesome, depending on which end you're on, essentially. But then we look at PvE, and not many people are using it. Why don't we look at things like that and see... Where can we actually adjust and, and make these changes essentially in, in the Destiny universe? For example, they can make it stronger in PvE, but lesser in PvP. You know, like, that would almost make sense. But even as I was going to say about the Thorn buff slash nerf, in a sense, like, it's still going to be a very viable weapon in PvE and PvP, but not nearly as viable because, it, of course, like, it, you know, I don't know. They nerf the poison on it, but it's still going to be solid poison, and it actually stacks on people, so that's pretty fucking cool, too. But even then, like, when we nerf these things, like the Thorn, for example, even, like, fuck, I've been saying so many times, let's nerf the Thorn, it sucks because there's too much of it in PvP. It's like, when we think of things like the Vex Smith the class, for example, think of how powerful it was originally, and then all of a sudden it gets nerfed in into PvP, and, like, then it, you know, it's not as viable in PvP because we, had, we nerfed a beautiful exotic weapon. So in a sense, I guess I'm kind of answering myself in the sense that we are really balancing everything, but... How do we know when balance is too much balance? You know, how do we know when when things are too homogenized in 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 sense of like weaponry and you know skill versus weapons and all that stuff? You know, like where's the where's the variety when everything is balanced? You know what I mean? Where do, where do we get our toss up? It's hard to say. And like even the selling that I'm thinking of, and like how do we how do we fix how do we properly fix fix things? You know, like when I did my Trials of Osiris video, it was the exact same thing. When I talked about Thorn, I was like, how do we fucking fix the Thorn? We, like, there's just no, like, what do you do? What do you do? Because even at this point, I feel like we're not fixing things. We're not addressing things. It's like we could have easily just nerfed it or buffed it or whatever we could have done to the Thorn and Gallahorn. But instead, we changed everything in one go. And that's mind-blowing to me. So now that Bungie's gotten all their feedback on the weapon patch and everything, how do we do things right? That should be a better question that Bungie should be asking to the community, essentially. How do we do things right? And where do we win as a whole? And where can we come to an agreement as a whole? It's hard to say. Yeah. I don't know, guys. What do you think will fix this Destiny patch and this Destiny balance? Because I'm still in the line about it. I really don't know how I feel about it. Uh, one side of me says, like, oh, fuck, I love my exotics, and now my exotics don't feel as exotic anymore. But the other half of me says it makes sense that it's balanced. But once again, how much is too much balance? How much? You know, where do we cut the line between variety and homogenization in the sense that everything becomes the same in a sense, you know? How do we know that things will play differently come Taken King. I guess we don't really know until Taken King actually drops, but it's just something I've been thinking about for a little bit, and I I wanted you guys to know my actual take on the entire weapon patch, because one side of me says, okay, fuck yeah, that's awesome. The other side of me says, you know, I don't know, man. I don't know, this sucks, you know? I don't know. Still in line about it. Even after talking about it, I was hoping to, I was hoping to come to a resolution at the end of this video. Now I just think I've got more questions, so like, this sucks. <laughs> what the hell? How do I even sleep at night? I don't know, whatever. That's all I got to talk about for today, guys. Just wanted to go over the weapon patch and my thoughts a little bit there, as I said before. As I always say, thank you guys so much for watching, and drop a like for your boy if you enjoyed the video. Once again, guys, my name is Godfords, and I'll be back here with more Destiny content shortly, so stay tuned, stay subscribed, and I'll talk to you guys soon. So take it easy, have a general good, and I'll see you then. Peace out! Not safely alter Zer's inventory, um, and, and, and everything will be okay, essentially. So they just said that Zer will have full stock, full inventory next week, but, like, what the fuck? Like, what the- what? 
who who at like Bungie headquarters thought it was a good idea to to 